Hello, I'm Leonard Matheson. We're here to take a brief look at the California Functional Capacity Protocol. The Cal FCP is a two hour long test battery designed to objectively measure the consequences of soft tissue injury. It was developed under contract to the Industrial Medical Council in the state of California. The two hour long battery has 12 components. The first seven are given over to seated tasks that require approximately 60 minutes to complete. The last five tasks are standing and require approximately 60 minutes to complete as well. Over the course of the two-hour battery, the evaluee performs several different tasks that are interrelated and provide us with information to guide the physician in objectively measuring soft tissue injury. We have developed an examiner's manual that describes each of the tasks in the Cal FCP and includes as appendices all of the forms that are required. In addition, all of the standardized normative data that are necessary to perform the test are included. The California Functional Capacity Protocol should be utilized four weeks after injury when the injured worker has not returned to his or her usual and customary job and continues in medical treatment. It may be used at any time after four weeks after injury as long as the patient's doctor believes that the evaluation tasks are not likely to harm the evaluee. It can be used to provide information about progress in treatment and for rating purposes when the patient has reached permanent and stationary status. And how much do you weigh? The Cal FCP battery is designed to focus on the general work capacity of a wide variety of injured workers. It appears that the most broadly based physical work demands center around the strength of the worker. Strength has been defined as the maximum voluntary force a worker is willing to exert in a single attempt. Within the context of strength, the worker's demonstrated lifting capacity and grasping capacity are the two most frequently encountered issues. In addition, lifting and grasping are excellent index variables. Research has demonstrated that information about each variable explains substantial proportions of the variance of other physical functional abilities. Thus, components of the Cal FCP battery will focus on strength in terms of lifting and grasping. Additional work capacity factors of standing range of motion, climbing, and carrying are also addressed in the battery. Other work capacity factors will be addressed through a structured clinical interview and testing of perceived functional capacity. The Cal FCP battery has a standardized order of testing which must be followed. There are 12 stages in the battery, the first seven of which are given over to sedentary tasks. The person is seated for approximately 60 minutes while an interview and health questionnaire and other tests in a seated posture are undertaken. Subsequently, the evaluee stands and performs five different tasks for an additional 60 minutes. Janet is conducting a structured interview of Margaret, going through questions that provide a basic foundation for subsequent evaluation tasks. The structured interview requires approximately 20 minutes. The second stage in the Cal FCP is completion of a simple health questionnaire. The questionnaire requires approximately five minutes to complete. The questionnaire screens for items that may put the person at risk when subsequent physical ability testing is performed. After the evaluee completes the health questionnaire, the evaluator reviews each answer and if there are issues that are open, we'll confer with the patient's physician. Throughout the evaluation, a record is maintained of the patient's sitting, standing, and walking. The, the timing of the task is recorded on a daily schedule that breaks down each task in terms of five minute increments. After the health questionnaire is reviewed with the patient, the patient's perception of his or her physical capacity is evaluated 
using either the packed spinal function sort or the epic hand function sort. Each test presents drawings of various tasks that are common and found in a wide variety of circumstances. Along with each drawing is a simple task description. The evaluee is asked to rate his or her own ability to perform the task along a five-point scale from able to unable. Embedded in the test items are items that are used for a reliability check. In addition, there is a natural progression of difficulty that should be related to a natural progression of increasing limitation. The evaluee who has a spinal injury or a lower extremity injury is evaluated using the spinal function sort, while the evaluee who has an upper back injury or a cervical injury or a hand or upper extremity injury is evaluated using the hand function sort. The evaluation of perception of physical capacity requires about 15 minutes. Items are reviewed with the evaluee and the test is scored so that a comparison can be made to normative data. A fourth stage in the Cal FCP battery is completion of a pain and sensation drawing. The drawing is used to quantify the location, type, intensity of worst pain, frequency of worst pain, and intensity and frequency of usual pain. A visual analog scale is used to quantify the evaluee's subjective rating of the level of pain, both at its worst and at its usual level. In addition, a human figure drawing is used to record the type of pain. A simple key is used to allow the evaluee to record the type of pain that he or she experiences. Examples include burning pain or stabbing pain or tingling. Frequency of the worst pain is also recorded. This is based upon the evaluator's interview with the evaluee after the conclusion of the drawing. The evaluator questions the evaluee about the frequency of the pain and whether it involves the person during both waking and sleeping hours. Constant pain is interpreted as occurring for most of the waking and sleeping hours, while intermittent pain occurs several times during waking hours and occasional pain a few times during waking hours. The four level rating scale from constant to frequent to intermittent is based upon the frequency of the pain and its occurrence during waking and sleeping hours. The fifth stage in the Cal FCP battery is completion of the job demands questionnaire. This requires approximately five minutes. The questionnaire is designed to tie into the physical demand characteristic system used by the United States Department of Labor. This structures input from the evaluee in terms of his or her job demands. The purpose of this exercise is to provide information about the evaluee's perception of the job demands against which the performance test measures can be compared. In addition, this activity extends seated task duration. The information is not included in the disability rating but will be useful to the treating doctor.